The clan capital is here in Clash of Clans and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing some of the basics, talking a little bit about forging and going into some depth about raids. Hey guys, Alex here, otherwise known as Clash with Stay, and welcome back to another Blueprint video. Now, this is the first video up on the Blueprint channel where we are going to be jumping into some depth about the clan capital. So, of course, let us know down in the comments if this is something you are interested in or if this is something you totally do not want to see over on the Blueprint channel. We are always tailoring our content to best suit you guys. So, clan capital basics. First things first, when you first come in to your clan capital, you're going to get the wee guy that pops up. He's going to kind of talk you through it but you will have not very much unlocked i'm actually here in one of my home clans called brian fan club big shout out to those guys who have actually done a considerable amount of work unlocking different things here in our clan capital now the capital peak which is where we are right now is one of the key places here in the clan capital it's very very important that you guys focus on this but there are a few things that you want to make sure you're focusing on first before prioritizing some of the other stuff. So one of the key things here in the clan capital to do is unlock as many of the different places as you possibly can. So you can see we have currently unlocked the Barbarian Camp, which is up to level two, and we've unlocked Wizard Valley. So in these other places, it's going to give you the ability to unlock more troops as well as additional spells. So right now we have actually only unlocked six different troops as well as one spell. But as we put more time, more effort and more capital gold through into this, we will of course progress. So one of the main things you want to prioritize is unlocking these other camps or valleys or whatever they want to be called as soon as you guys possibly can. So once you've started to unlock some of the other districts here in the clan capital, the main thing you guys want to focus on is unlocking those troops and spells first. So those are of course going to come here in the barracks. Now you can see we've actually upgraded a couple of our barracks and one in particular you guys do want to focus on is these sneaky archers. Sneaky archers are really, really strong currently in the clan capital because you're basically able to snipe off decent chunks of the base one after the other. Now remember, you're never going to be able to take down an entire capital base in one raid. You're probably going to have to do multiple one after the other, but having the sneaky archers coming through in the back end able to tidy up those raids are really, really nice. So one of the other things you do want to make sure you're getting as well is, of course, those defenses because they are going to help to protect you from incoming raids from other clans and they are just going to hopefully boost your defense a little bit. Now, if you guys have not already checked out the shop here in Clash of Clans, you'll see there are loads of brand new offers that you are able to buy. Really, really exciting offers. And we over here at Blueprint would love it if you guys could support us by using code BLUE. It's really, really simple. All you need to do is click on this little C at the top and you can type in BLUE. That can be either all lowercase or all uppercase. You can, of course, buy some gems as well. And that's going to help to support some of your clanmates too. But jumping over here into the forge, which is, of course, right here it's looking pretty cool i have to say i have really a big fan of the new design aspect of the clan capital you'll see i've been doing a lot of work and i have lots of capital gold here to collect and i'm about to get my free capital gold as well now if you guys didn't know from Town Hall 6 all the way up to Town Hall 14, you are able to get that free capital gold every single day. So if you guys are not making the most of that, make sure on all of your accounts, Town Hall 6 and upwards, you go through, you claim that each day and just help to push your clan a little bit more. But what I'm going to do, you see I've got 0 out of 25,000 capital gold at the moment. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to collect all of this which I did start just the other day. And that is going to give me a nice little boost here to my forge. And now that's going to give me the ability to go ahead and craft some more. But sadly, I don't actually have too many resources. So I am going to have to go out and do a little bit of farming. But if you guys see, we do currently have a four times star bonus event, which is really, really nice for helping you just build up a little bit more loot that you can put towards using that forge. Because if like me, you are completely maxed out other than walls, then you're going to be sitting pretty nice and you're going to have lots of builders available to help you get that capital gold. Now, if you guys didn't know, you can also use your builder base loot. You can use your builder base gold and your builder base elixir. Now, the builder base 
it's kind of been shunned. Nobody likes the builder base too much, but there is actually now a, an upside to having decently upgraded builder base. I believe you have to have a builder hall level eight to be able to unlock this, but you'll see it's, you're going to be able to put a little bit of resources in. Sadly, you're not going to be able to get the 2,400 capital gold you can from the dark elixir, elixir and gold. It's going to be slightly less at 1,600, but I have both of those resources available to me. So I'm going to go ahead and use them just so I can continue crafting some stuff. Now, if you guys didn't know already, the builder potion, so if we go ahead and we find my town hall all the way up here at the top, by the way, big shout out to Via over at Blueprint for providing me with this base. If you guys want a base just like this, you can head over to our website or to our Discord and look for Via. So you'll see I've actually used a couple of builder potions already. Those boosted up my uh, builder speed so I could get that capital gold a little bit quicker. I actually only have two of them left. However, if you guys have lots of medals available over here, here in the league shops, you're going to be able to use those medals 30 a piece to get those builder potions and you're going to be able to stockpile them to help just forge that capital gold a little bit quicker and make it look like you're doing a lot more work in your clan capital. So something I've noticed a lot of people might have forgotten about is the gold pass. Now the gold pass does have a huge impact on the clan capital. Now we're not going to be able to get too many resources from this to assist us but one thing we are going to be able to get is a little bit of capital gold as we progress through here just on the silver pass and as you progress through if we continue you'll see some more capital gold but one of the main things we are looking for if you guys are purchasers of that gold pass remember to use code blue in your shop if you do get the gold pass but this 20 percent boost you'll see crafting in the forge will also be affected so it's going to require 20 percent less resources as well as time. So if you guys are all about efficiency and you want to maximize the amount of capital gold you are forging, then this is a must. It's obviously relatively cheap to get the gold pass, but it is going to have a massive impact over time if you do have this gold pass unlocked and you have this 20% builder boost active. So right now it looks like my clan is currently working on the super giant barracks. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and sink my capital gold into. It's as simple as clicking on the thing you want to uh, put your capital gold into, clicking upgrade and contributing. You'll see my contribution has now brought the super giant barracks up to level two, which is really, really nice. Now it looks like we are trying to unlock these ruins where we're going to get a few defenses. So I'm going to go ahead and con contribute the remainder of my resources in through there. That's also going to push me up slightly. And if you guys didn't know, you're going to be able to jump on over here. You're going to be able to click on ca clan capital, see how much you've put in. But you can also check out your rankings of where you place in your clan. And you'll see I am currently sitting seventh in my clan. We've got Hertha, XNO, <laughs> and a few other players who have sunk quite a few gems here into my clan capital. Big shout out to those guys. But what we are going to do now is we're going to jump in and show you guys a little bit of a raid tutorial where you can actually pick up some free clan capital gold for yourself. So you'll see in one day and 15 hours from when I'm recording this tutorial is when the raid weekend is going to start. So to prepare yourself for this, there are a few different things that you guys can do. There is now a tutorial that you're going to be able to do. I will show you that in a second. But one of the main things you're able to do is jump into one of your peaks, your valley whatever you want to call it and I'm here at my capital peak and you'll see I now have this challenge option available so if I click on that I can actually FC like you would FC builder base or you would FC just your regular main village I'm going to be able to do that for my district challenge here in capital peak and that means me and the rest of my clan are actually going to be able to come through and practice attacking our own district to see how well it defends as well as hone our attacking skills. But in order to get the tutorial, what we have to do is we have to click this little eye icon up towards the right hand side of our screen. We click on that. You can read this. You can pause the video if you guys want to read it. We're going to go ahead and scroll over to attacking though. And what we can do right here is try out this practice level. Now, this is a tutorial. You guys will get the exact same. You're only going to be able to do this once wants to get that loot
Okay, so it turns out the tutorial is pretty easy to beat. You guys saw me just speed running it right there. It's really, really simple to beat, even after the, we followed the tutorial and it failed. So sometimes you're better just spamming everything in, letting those super giants tank. And well, it's relatively easy, but you'll see that's free 2,610 capital gold that you guys can pick up. That Supercell has basically gone, here's some free gold feel free to use it, which is really, really nice. I'm, I'm glad that the Supercell team have decided to give us at least a little bit of free uh, capital gold because right now the forging takes maybe a little bit too long in my opinion to kind of build up and start to uh, to increase your value. It's certainly going to be a long haul for a lot of players, but hopefully this video did showcase a few ways you can speed up that progress and how you guys can work together as a team and using all your accounts to speed up that progress progress but that does bring me to the end of this video i really hope you guys did enjoy this little bit of a different video to what we're used to doing over here on the blueprint channel but like i said at the start if you guys do enjoy this video make sure you let us know down in the comments below and leave a like on the video while you're down there but until the next one we'll catch you guys later peace Oh, hey.